It's Junie and I'm back with another wig review. Today's wig review is courtesy of Hair's Market. Thank you Hair's Market for sending me this unit to review for my subscribers. And speaking of my subscribers, thank you guys again for tuning in. And if you guys are new or just passing through, please consider subscribing. We have a lot of fun here. So this unit is from Hair's Market and it is their human hair um, ginger wig. It's called ginger. It's supposed to mimic the color ginger. Um, and I thought this would be the perfect color to usher in the fall. It's long. Um, the ginger color kind of gives me fall vibes. Now, we're going to talk about the color because I know this is not ginger. We're going to talk about the color and a little backstory about that in a little bit. But before I get into all that, let me just offer you guys a few specs. Um, of course, this is a bang unit. It's a full cap closure. There is no lace to be worried about, no parting space. And I always find that refreshing with wigs that you don't have to invest a lot of energy and time in it. You just put it on, maybe even flat iron it because it's a super silky, sleek look. And you're good. That makes me feel good. So this is a very beginner friendly type of a unit it's 100 percent human hair and it's about 18 inches or so of course your unit comes with combs um adjustable straps the cap space is very comfortable you guys i would estimate it to be an average cap size about 22 and a half inches or so so let's talk about the pros the packaging was super cute comes in a cute box um i think i got some lashes to go along with the unit a stocking cap, some of the customary things that you get with your unit when you order one. So let's talk about the ginger color. Um, I was most attracted to the color online. I thought it was super duper cute, a great way to usher in the fall season. We're in September. And as you guys know, the, during the summer, I wasn't reviewing any short units. So I was actually looking forward to the fall and offering you guys some cute long options um, and that ginger color looked it to die for but when my unit arrived for me it was not the color that was depicted it was a little more vibrant orange than what um, i was expecting um the ginger color that i saw online was definitely a more muted orange more like a burnt orange to me right and so when I received the unit, don't get me wrong, I know there are lots of you guys that would totally rock that orange color. It was pretty, um, but just not what I was expecting for the fall. Um, and I contacted Harris Market about that, and they did let me know that um, sometimes their heating lamps can cause a variation in the color. But I still wanted to do something fall inspired, so I wanted to dye the unit and a... Um, Goodness, what color was that? It was a copper base color um, was put on top. Um, you can go to your local hair store. If you want some, a color that kind of mimics this color that I have, you want to use a copper, like a dark, you could even use maybe a Cajun Spice Brown. I was considering that color. Didn't go that route, but um, went for the, uh, goodness, it was a copper colored dye. Um, to put on top of this one and it came out really really pretty not quite still not quite the color that I was shooting for with the um, uh, The model that was depicted advertising the wigs. This is definitely a more vibrant red I really wanted that super cute burnt orange color um, but this came out cute and um, To let you guys know. I mean the unit took well to dye so no, I didn't get the color that I was expecting. It's really cool that you can take the color that came and just add a really pretty color on top of it. I like that aspect because it's really difficult, you guys, to lift um, color from wigs or from 
um, virgin hairs. So you may order the wig and have no issues with your um, color. I guess for me it was just a anomaly. Uh, but something really super duper cute came out of it. So I'm not I'm not mad. You know, I was like a little disappointed that the unit, the color wasn't quite what I was expecting. Oof, Jesus, hold on. So yes, the hair took very, very well to dye. It's still healthy, super duper soft. I mean, oh my gosh. The cap construction was excellent. Um, the closure looked good. I mean, everything else was great, except, you know, the color that came wasn't quite what I bargained for. So let's talk a little bit about the cons. Of course, you know, one of the cons is that the color that I was expecting wasn't quite what I got. Um, but like I've said this before, even with our synthetic wigs, these units are machine made and even machines make mistakes. The color wasn't bad, you guys. It really wasn't. I know that a lot of you guys are gonna love the original color. I just wanted something more wearable for me, something more my style, my flavor. And I still didn't quite get the ginger color I wanted. But I'm pretty happy with this really pretty. This came out more red based than um, burnt orange. But also for me, this comes down to personal preference. I wish the unit was just a smidge more fuller. This is actually, I really can't complain about that because this is actually a very natural type of a density, 150% average. However, I just wanted a little smidge more. But this is natural looking. It makes the unit look more realistic. I'm just being a little extra with wanting more hair. Well, that's all for me, you guys, and Hair's Market. Um, I think it's a very pretty wig, very perfect for fall. This bang, this length, this color. Um, yeah, super duper cute. I've actually seen a lot of Hair's Market advertisement on my IG feed. Um, so if you are also seeing Hair's Market all over the place, I think that you will actually enjoy their wigs. So until my next wig review, I will see you guys later.